In this video, I'm going to talk about the three parts to studying maths. And I'm going to keep it quite short because of these three parts, you're already doing two of them. You're doing your classwork and you're doing your homework. So I'm mostly going to focus on preparation. Now, I'm going to assume I'm talking to a secondary level math student or maybe a college student, but really this should apply whether you're doing an online course or just studying for your own interest. Also, it should really apply to pretty much any subject. As I said, I'm going to focus on preparation. Now, it's really going to sound like I'm overselling it, but for the 30 minutes of time it takes, it's going to be a game changer. It will make your classwork easier. You will learn more, you will ask better questions, you'll just do better in class. Because you do better in class, you're going to do homework faster and better again, leaving more time to learn even more again. It has a compounding effect over all your learning. So how do you do this preparation? Well, your first job is going to be to find out what you're preparing for. Find out what you're covering next week. Ask your teacher, ask your professor, or just look it up in um, your online course. For, for the sake of an example, I'm going to assume we're learning coordinate geometry. That means midpoint, slope, distance. Next, find a time to do this. How much will it take? That depends. I would say minimum 10 minutes, maximum an hour. Ideally, you probably want to spend about 30 minutes on this. Set aside 30 minutes for each of the topics you want to do, let's say some Saturday afternoon. Next, it sounds boring, but you want to read your book. You want to go to your maths book, go to the section we're talking about, coordinate geometry, midpoint, that sort of thing, and start reading. You don't have to learn. We're, the focus here isn't to learn everything, just to read it. I put main goals here. First and foremost, get familiar. What I mean by that is when you're reading the book, one of your main goals is just to be familiar with the, with the words themselves, first and foremost. But then you want to recognize the distance formula. For example, the distance formula has a square root in it. The slope formula has, a, has x's and y's and there's a dividing line. But really just the words themselves as well. Then as you read through it, you want to be starting to ask yourself questions. Why is the midpoint useful? Where does the formula for the slope come from? Um, how do I do use the distance formula? Those sort of questions. Now the book will answer them for you. But remember, you don't have to learn at this point. It's really just about preparing to learn next week. So don't spend too much trying, time trying to answer those questions. Um, the book usually has uh, worked examples. Try follow through one of them. You can read through it line to line. See where does the next line come from? Do you understand it at all? If you have a little extra time, take a pen and paper, try and walk through one of the examples yourself. I have here is another main goal, implant a question. Now what I mean there is those questions you were asking yourself, um, why is the midpoint useful? Where does the formula for the slope come from? Those are questions you really want to implant in your brain. Your brain doesn't have to actively be thinking about this, but it will be. Brains love puzzles and it will want to know the answer. And you're going to see the benefits of that when we get into the classroom. Now, that's it for preparation. That doesn't and it shouldn't uh, sound all that difficult. We're reading a book and we're not even worried about learning all of it. So why doesn't everybody do this? And I think it's because all your life you've been told, go to school. All your life you've been told, do your homework. Just nobody's really told you to spend that 30 minutes uh, preparing for that schoolwork, preparing for that homework. Well, I'm telling you now, it will change your life. Let's see how I'll do that by looking at classwork. Nothing has really changed here. You're gonna to go to class, you're gonna listen, you're gonna ask questions, and you're gonna help other students. Going to class definitely hasn't changed from preparation. Try and get to as much class as you can. To get your attendance up to the high 90%, it will make a difference. The first point where preparation really does change is listen. Now, I have been a student and I've been a teacher, and I know students don't listen. I, I didn't listen. Most of the time I look around the classroom, five are listening, 15 aren't. It's hard to pay attention. Your teacher is going blah, 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 midpoint. And that's the difference. Instead of all blah, you're going to hear the word midpoint. You're going to hear the word distance, the word slope. It's going to jump out at you. It's going to wake you up because you've prepared. Your brain has questions about these things. And as soon as your teacher starts talking about it, you're going to snap to attention. You're going to think, yeah, I know about this. Or you're going to have questions about it. It's going to help a lot. 
Now, I have asked questions and helped students. So many people that are afraid to ask their teacher questions, maybe often because they don't know enough. Well, first of all, you now know more. You've done a bit of preparation. You've listened to the teacher's explanation. You should have better questions to ask. But, but still, a lot of students don't like asking questions. Personally, I put students into groups of uh, about five people so they can ask each other questions. And that's really where help students come in. You're now gonna be a student that can answer those questions. When someone else asks you, how do you do this? You're gonna be able to answer them. When you're doing the question in class, you're the one able to do it. Student beside you is gonna ask, how did you do that? You're now gonna be able to help them because you've prepared, you've listened better. You're, you're ahead of the game. And that's gonna help moving into homework. Homework definitely hasn't changed. You're gonna try the questions. If you can do them, you're finished. If you can't, we're gonna to have to relearn. Now, what will change is, let's say you're given 10 questions, a three on the midpoint, three on the slope, three on the distance, and one general question. Before, you probably could answer five out of those 10. Now we're gonna be able to answer seven or even eight out of these 10 questions. That means you're gonna to get to move on on more of those questions. That leaves more time to relearn. Now, what do I mean by relearn? Those two questions you can't do, we're gonna to have to move back into classwork, except it's not gonna be in the class. Your teacher's not gonna be there with you. You're gonna to have to use the book. You're gonna to have to use online resources, uh, YouTube videos, even use an AI, ask it a question. You're gonna try and find the answer. Redo the question. You still can't do it. Move back. Again, ask other students as well. Study groups are brilliant to relearn. This is where a lot of the extra learning gets done. And now you're gonna have more time to do it because you're doing two questions instead of five. But do remember, while you're doing this loop of homework learning, homework learning, do not spend all your time at it. Uh, give yourself a set time. You still have other subjects to do. You have next week to start preparation for, and this continues for a long, long year. So do not be afraid to only get 80% of the questions right. One of the things I love about maths is how interconnected it is. Maybe this week you only learn 80% of it. Next week we learn a topic that's somewhat similar and it just all clicks for you. You learn 100% the next week and you look back and say, oh, now I can do that. You'd be surprised over a whole year of 80%, they will add together to somehow magically get 90%. Okay, that's it. This is not a world changing idea. Preparation, classwork, homework. I would say already 5% of students do this. Guess what? Those 5% are the students who get top grades because it really does work. I implore you to give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Let me know if you think there's some other things I could add into this. It's the first time doing a video like this. Usually I just go through exam questions, help students um, solve specific questions. I've never given general advice like this. Let me know how I've done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.